So what's really the difference between SEMrush versus Google Analytics? Um, there, well, there's a lot of differences, but let's go through some basics so you can kind of understand what's going on here. First of all, if you don't have a SEMrush account, I'll leave a link down below where you can get signed up and uh, for a free trial and test all this different stuff out so you can see how all this works. Uh, and then Google Analytics, of course, is free, so you can just set that up and get that going and start tracking everything. But with Google, something like Google Analytics, we're putting a tag on our website, like a tracking code, that's going to gather all this data about what's actually happening on the website. So the data from something like Google Analytics is going to be much more accurate than a tool like SEMrush. Okay. And what I mean by that is like, here's the organic search traffic that we've gotten in the last 30 days. It says 471 visitors. And that's based on the code firing from somebody coming from an organic source. And it's pretty, it's going to be pretty accurate, right? Whereas if we take that same website, we put it into SEMrush, it's saying that it's only getting 41 visitors per month from organic search traffic. But the way SEMrush works is it's using estimates. So it sees that there are 334 keywords that we're ranking for. And it's going to do some math based on the keywords that it sees that we are ranking for. So we can take a look at the actual breakdown here. And we can see that we are in position six for this keyword position six seven 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 nine five like we can see the position that we are ranking for here right and then there's the search volume over here and it can take like there's a percentage of the traffic that goes to the number one ranked website a percentage of the traffic that goes to the number two ranked website whatever it is like 15 percent 10 percent seven percent it keeps dropping as you go down so it can take however much search volume there is in a month, figure out whatever position you're in, multiply those together, and estimate how many clicks you're going to get per month from ranking for that keyword. So it's it's estimating we're going to get 17 clicks a month for Z Girls recipes, 11 clicks a month for this keyword, this keyword is five, this one's two, two, one, 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 one. So it only sees us ranking for these keywords sees the traffic, does some calculations, figures, yeah, we're going to be getting about 42 searches a month. Now, this tends to get more accurate the more traffic there is, right? Like if you're ranking for a lot of keywords and getting millions of visitors per month to your website, then these estimates are going to be a lot more accurate. When you start getting into the smaller, you know, sites that only get a couple hundred visitors per month from organic, then it's going to be a little, or even paid traffic, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult to track exactly what's going on. But that's where something like Google Analytics comes into play because you can put Google Analytics on your website and see exactly you know where people are coming from, whether it's organic search or referral, meaning like somebody has a link on their website, you know, saying, hey, go check out the recipe on this other website. So people are clicking from that website off to our website. So that would be referral traffic. Then there's direct. So people just coming directly to the website and then some unassigned and organic social stuff, right? So that can even be broken down further. There's so much you can get into with Google Analytics. So I'm not going to go through everything here, but we can start to see like what is actually happening from each of those sources of traffic. And so organic traffic seems to be some of our best traffic. It's getting a high engagement rate. Something we are going on with this referral traffic. It seems like some of it might be spam or something. We'll have to take a look into what's going on. But again, that even a platform like Google Analytics is not going to be 100% accurate. So you still have to take it with a grain of salt. But it's going to be more accurate than something like an estimate from SEMrush. Now, the major advantage to SEMrush is that 
you don't necessarily have to put a tracking code on a website in order to get data for that website, right? Whereas Google Analytics, you have to own the website or have access to the website in order to set up Google Analytics because you need to place a tag on there. Whereas with SEMrush, we can actually spy on our competitors with this tool and not without even having access to the to the competitor website. So Traeger is a company that, that makes grills as well. And we can take a look and see exactly what they have going on. Right? So we can see that they are in the millions of visitors per month with their traffic. This is a really big company. Been around for a long time. They're spending a lot of money on uh, paid search traffic, so Google Ads. And they've got a lot of backlinks. You know, it's a big brand, so it's been around a long time, and everybody knows about it, so people are talking about it all over online. And we can dig into what keywords they're ranking for, how much traffic there is for those keywords, and see kind of where they're getting their traffic from, um, <clears throat> you know, the different sources of traffic, um, how their uh, website and SEO is looking, you know, branded versus non-branded traffic. So we can see that a lot of people are just searching for their company specifically. Uh, and that is something that we can't really do with a tool like Google Analytics, right? You can't use Google Analytics to spy on your competitors. But sometimes you need that information. You know, if, if you're... Uh, marketing isn't going so well and you're like I don't know what to do here rather than try and reinvent the wheel <laughs> you can use a tool like SEMrush to figure out what's already working like take a look at your competitors see what all they're doing we can take a look at all the different pages that that are ranking on their website and start digging into um, you know what uh, what things they're talking about, uh, how they're how they're positioning themselves online. We can start looking at some of the other competitors that this tool thinks that we should compete with. And then once we know what they're doing, we can start doing something similar but better. Obviously, you don't want to just copy what your competitors are doing, you know. Uh, but that starts to give you a game plan to to work forward from. So you can get your marketing into a position where it's bringing you the results that you want to see. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of SEMrush versus Google Analytics or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm gonna show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably gonna start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.